Hello there, everyone. Jordan and Kason back at you with another live stream. Hope you guys been doing all right. Um, Kason's staring at me like, what is he doing? Uh, so we uh, went out for a little RC adventure ride uh -huh. last night and uh, had a little mishap with my RC, the uh, servo steering screw. He's told him that. Well, we didn't, we didn't do that video. The servo steering screw came loose and uh, so the screw fell out, which the steering messed up and uh, had to get a new screw for it this morning. And we see the lock. Uh, rock chuck. Yeah. It's real similar to like a, uh, a greyhound. Yeah. Uh, they like to live in the rock areas and come out and bathe in the sun. And we went down in the cave this morning just to go down in the entrance. And when we popped out, there was one looking around. But uh, I see we got Aletha in here and Beretto. What's up, guys? Good morning. Uh, good, good afternoon, rather. It is 12.45 Mountain Daytime right now. So we're a little bit after lunch. I'm going to change the title here and get everything popping. Uh, let's see, let's see. Get this title changed. So, uh, how you guys doing? What do you guys got going on today? <clears throat> Get that done, okay. Go to the channel. Yeah, we tried doing a video today out there uh, with the RCs. Hey, you're tickling me. Oh, sorry. Was I, was I tickling you? Yeah. Uh, but the... The wind was just blowing too crazy, and uh, yeah, it wouldn't make for a good video. Yeah. Not a whole lot. You know, it worked. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Well, gotta, gotta get the yard work done. Yippee. So. Ouch. All right, we'll let that go. Been raining a lot. Cleaning my office. Well, hey, at least everybody's doing something. Everybody's usually got something that going on. Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so if you guys haven't seen by the title, we have four, looks like four people in here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, today we have... Five, six, menu nine, beef stew. This is a 2011 menu, um, the 94th day of 2011. There's eight people. There's eight? Yeah. Let's see, it says four, right? Uh, this was graciously sent in by Dub C. Uh, most of you guys that are subscribed to me know Dub. If you aren't, I will put the link down in the description below once it uploads. And I would appreciate it if you guys go drop a like and a sub. He does really awesome. He does really awesome survival videos, uh, MRE reviews, um, camping out, stuff like that. So go check him out. Uh, anyhow, thank you, Dub. We're uh, ready to check it out. Uh, pop. Let's see if Casey can pop open the resealable uh, pe or peelable seal here. We've had this menu uh, 
in the closet now for a couple months or a few months now um, but we figure we get into it the supply the stock is running fairly low and I need to I need to make a purchase through foreign MRE and, and order a case oh he's you're getting it though I can see you made you almost got it you almost got it there. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, you can get the rest. I just barely cracked it open them for, for him, so. <laughs> there you go. And you're to it! Alright. Move your blankie out the way here. We'll set him right here. Right behind you. Let's see what we got in store. First off, we have the main which we've all seen millions of times over the beef stew which this is a classic it's a good good man I do enjoy the beef stew uh, oh wow oh, okay I thought that said something else as usual I do have the water boiling in the back so after we go through the contents I'll toss the beef stew on uh, we got a hot beverage bag. I'll keep this. These are always good for accessories and whatnot. Don't need that. Oh, okay. So we're back in that era where they packaged up the flameless ration heater, and I think they should go back and do that. Uh, it's a good concept. Obviously, they're saving on packaging, but I think it would be something smart to do. Just it gives that extra life to it. Uh, there's no cheese? No cheese, no cheese bread. Oh, man. That's right. Oh, man, no cheese bread. Uh, so I think that would be cool if they did that, but that's probably one of the reasons is price. Be careful, but uh, price, you know, reduction. So we'll keep that. Toss this in here. Uh, next up we have a wheat snack bread. Let's see that. Wheat snack bread, bam, bam, bam. Alright, alright. We have a. Ooh, this one actually has Tabasco sauce. That's interesting. A little accessory pack here. Let's pop it open. We have some cinnamon. Cinnamon gum. And we'll let Casey hand us the rest here. We've got a beverage base lemonade. Okay, we got a iodized salt. And we have a Tabasco sauce. As I say, I don't very I don't see the Tabasco sauces in here too often. Do you see this one? Did you show them the moist, yeah, moist towelette? Uh, Marilyn, hey, how's it going? Hope you're doing well on this Sunday. This guy. And some toilet paper. Sunday morning-ish. I a lot of work will be listening. Paper. Hey, perfect. I uh, hope your work day goes well. Why we are... What's that? Why is it toilet paper? Well, in case... So this, this type of meal right here is for military men and women okay and so when they're out in the field and they don't have a meal cooked for them they open this bad boy up and sometimes after you eat you have to go to the bathroom right so you need toilet paper okay so now we got that figured out so now you, have, now he has to go to the bathroom all right i'm gonna put the tp on the side uh, the salt probably on the side. I reckon I won't need that. Um, let's see. All right. So we have the brown MRE spoon, but this is a weird packaging. This is like a uh, just a homemade because you can see it's all been sealed right there on the edges. Um, that's interesting, but we are gonna use the brown spoon. 
Oh. Yes. We have a chocolate hazelnut beverage powder. Cocoa. All right. Well, um, I well that's perfect because there's not a coffee in here. So I have some hot water in here. Hopefully it'll be good enough. We'll get that thing popping very quickly. We have a grape jelly and a peanut butter. Oh, this is a this is a great menu. Check it out, folks. Apple turnover. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to sneak off into my box when we get into that dessert and uh, get one of my sweetened condensed milks to pop with that apple turnover. That'll be excellent. Oh, this is a this is a great menu contents right here, Dove. Thank you, man, for letting me uh, get the opportunity to check it out. All these uh, components are great in this menu here. Um, so first off, guys, let's get the uh, hazelnut going because we have the hot water. And uh, yeah, let's see here. We'll shake it up in here. It's got like this greasy type of film on it, but there's nothing that has leaked. I don't know. It's, what's the matter, Boogie? You all right? Yeah. All right. Hey, Fred. Fred Thorne, welcome, buddy. How you doing? Hope you're doing well on this Sunday morning. We are uh, just getting started here, really. Uh, well, actually, means that's a good point to uh, get the beef stew on. So we're just getting started with the beef stew, 2011. Got Kason here with me, and I'm gonna toss this on there real quick and actually while I'm up I'll grab the sweet condensed milk real quick Apologize about that, guys. Oh, 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 oh. We got the sweet condensed milk here. Uh, hey, Kason. Oh, uh, Fred you. said, "Hey, Kason." Hi. Hi. All right. Hey, I'm gonna do it. Wait. Do you have any more cookies to do with this? Um, well, do we have a lot of cookies? We have some mini chocolate chip cookies. We have a lot of these. Right? Uh, we don't have many of those sweetened condensed milks. No. Oh, wait, actually, I forgot about them. Well, maybe I got rid of this. No. Anyhow, I apologize, guys. One thing I didn't have. It's what? Yeah, I think, uh, Case, Case and, uh, oh, I think he was, never mind. Caught his Hades. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. So we have a fill line here. Hopefully we can match it. It's probably right about the same amount of water. Then, got it all down. Oh, of course. I get it everywhere else. You mind uh, grabbing one of those towels, that towel hanging out, would you please? That should be perfect. Alrighty guys, so we got the... Oh, it's nice and warm too. Thank you, bud, I appreciate it. Yeah, I got all done. Got the water in there. Push all the air out. And we'll zip lock her up. I know you guys love this part so much. I wish I could pause it and fast forward, but we gotta give her a good shake. Oh, oh! Hi, Holy moly! 
raining. Oh, I love a good thunderstorm. Gosh. They just blow right through here. Why do you like thunderstorms? I just like it when you look at it. It's just really cloudy, real dark. and It's just, I don't know. It's always like a thunderstorm. And do say it a dog. Yeah, dog. Alright. There we go, guys. So, we're going to see... Please don't. I wonder if we should do it in here. I can uh, my, we'll just I'm, do it in the coffee cup. Keep, that'll help keep it insulated. I'm stuck my cup in there. Okay. Alright. Uh, well, smells great. It almost switched. Ooh, it looks wonderful. Oh. Daddy, wow, that's, it definitely would have fit in there, that's for sure. Daddy, look, it almost reached to a piece with that It almost tipped her off there, huh? Yeah. Yep. Like crinkling area. Right? Like, yeah. There it is. And then. Looking far away there. And this yeah. is coffee. Coffee, that's... This kitty! And this, folks, is coffee. That's funny. That get a straw. Alright, so, you know what we also need while you're up, bud? While you get your straw, grab that package of club crackers there. So we can get this peanut butter and jelly going. Well, uh, we do have a wheat snack bread. We will open it up and check it out. Thank you. Alright, so white, or no, this is just a wheat snack bread. Serving size, one piece. Uh oh, uh, 180 calories. There it is, wheat snack bread. Alright, alright. Keep my trash picked up. I just need to keep this thing right here. There we go. So we got the white wheat snack bread. Just wheat. Keep on saying white. Uh, uh, there it is. It's all one piece. Looks pretty good. Um, guys, how's the audio and visual, the video? Uh, Skipping around, anything like that. Uh, not that I'd be able to fix it really, but just kind of curious. And we got the peanut butter. Let me give this a little knead here. What are you looking for? I need to find a different straw. Oh gosh, you can never find the right straw, huh? All good. Sounds sounds good. Five by five, brother. <laughs> And there's some spoons in there and forks, okay? Spoons in there and forks, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Alright, let's see what we got. See if Dad can put a smiley face like they all do. <coughs> okay. I don't want to You won't look? Yeah, you tell me you look. All right, I'll tell you. Yo, 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 yo! How's it going, bro? Hope you're doing well on this Sunday morning. I uh, hope you're getting some rest and relaxation on this Sunday, not out on the grind, but if you are, man, I got a uh, peanut butter and jelly. Oh gosh. Alright. Oh man. No. No. Yeah, go ahead, look at him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, there's our smiley face. He's like, ah. Grape jelly too, wow. Perfect. Alright, so here we go. Hey, don't be making bubbles over there. You wanna try the first bite? That corner bite? Okay, that will go in. Didn't see it. I bit my lip there. Dad, watching the camera. Dad, watching the camera. Oh yeah, I didn't see the pop. Go through the straw there. <laughs> well, the wheat. Oh, I forgot to try the wheat sandwich bread without the stuff on there. I apologize, but. Oh. Mmm, that chocolate hazelnut. That's where you can really taste the hazelnut, guys, if you add just a slightly less amount of water. Then what's called for, I believe that's how... What happened here, maybe? Oh. Yeah, because the hazelnut really comes out. Um, that's a nice drink. Always enjoy the hot beverages, usually. There's not a, Panda. not a time. Yeah, he's got his Ryan Panda shirt on. See? You try the chocolate hazelnut drink? I do not like coffee. Oh, gosh. I, don't know, I just keep on trying to get you to get it one day. Do you want to at least try this? No. I don't like. We got some crackers. Mm -mm. I'll just finish it off on here then. Wait, what happened to that? Oh, there it is. What are you going to do with this? Going to eat it all? Yeah, we put a little bit more in here. And what am I going to do with this? I don't know. Go grab a... Uh, can you grab the paper towels? Yeah, the whole paper towels. catch up on chat uh costco i need to get a we need to get a costco membership we've been talking about that forever now and we never do Ooh, i don't want to drop that uh out running errands okay got you mike hope you uh have a good day good time running errands Ryan's World is my nephew's favorite. Yeah, Kason watched it there for a while, real steady. And then all of a sudden, he just kind of stopped watching it. Sometimes uh, I watch it, sometimes I don't. Yeah. Well, so what do you like watching now? Rabbits and Ryan. So there's a Netflix show called Rabbits. Yeah. It yeah, is, he watches that. It and is this topic. Yeah. You talk like that. Yeah. And that's why I like to watch because they're so funny. Roblox. Oh, Roblox. Yeah, he used to play Roblox on the Xbox. But there's not. Uh, Dollar Tree is more my speed. $20. And I feel like it's just mm -hmm. now. Yeah, heck yeah. That's right. I, I love going to Family Dollar and those places. Dad, 
I don't know if I'd rather have crackers. Just leave those there. Or, or. Hey, just gonna make a mess here. Crackers are the snack bread. I don't know. Well, no, I take that back. I would rather have the white wheat snack bread than the. Uh, Is there jello? You know what? We forgot. Than the crackers. Yeah, the crackers are just pretty plain. We have a beverage based lemonade here. And I'm going to grab a water and then uh, turn around the uh, beef stew real quick. Give her a good flip. Be right back. Alright. Ooh, that beef stew is definitely warm. And you can tell. Probably just a couple more minutes and it'll be good to go. Eat it! Oh! Why you rush? Alright, oh, we're Dad. just gonna go. Give her a good stir. I could boil four hundred dollars in Costco and come home with a case of window cream. I don't do windows. <laughs> Sometimes I know I buy stuff all the time. Kaylin's like, well, actually, the other day I was I was walking through Baumgart. Gosh. Baumgart, and it's like a uh, it's like a hardware store. Like an ace, and I want. I was thinking about buying this bird feeder, and you know, throwing some bird seed in there and putting it up on our porch stoop area. And it's just those random things. I wouldn't normally really buy one, but I just thought it'd be cool to kind of watch the birds. Me and Casey could watch the birds. Every time you tell I'm getting old, and I watch birds. Oh, yeah, it's a little stout. Spicy. Let's see here. No, but that little rock chuck we watched when we popped out the cave, I'll upload the picture on Facebook. Uh, at least Kaysen taken, which I took a picture of Kaysen in the cave. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take it. Okay, use both hands though. And when we popped out, he was he was probably like 20 feet away from us. It's like the size of a good sized house cat, you know, or something like that, without the tail. Uh, but he popped his head up and he's looking around, looking at us, and we just I told Casey to be quiet, and so we could sit there and watch what he did. And he kind of poked around for a while, and finally took off. What do you think of the lemonade? Good. Good? I'm making this tomato. Because it's a spirit. The hazelnut was great. Like I said, this is uh, nine years old. Uh, obviously, there's many others that have had older, but I don't really dwell into the... Uh, older rations and so far it's been uh, excellent so while we are here I'm gonna go grab the main off because it's been on there for a good 15 minutes I imagine I'll be right back why do you say that? well there's a there's a movie there's a movie called uh, Terminator and and uh, at some point he says, I'll be back. Wait, which Terminator? Terminator? Yeah. It's a robot movie. Maybe you have to show me that. Wait, we'll 
Robocop? 10,000 Walmart's Target's Lowe's and Home Depot's. Oh man. Okay. Robocop is it? Uh, Robocop is a little different. We, we got, I bought a Robocop from Family Dollar and I was, uh, I thought it was the first Robocop from like the 90s. But unfortunately it was a, a newer one. And uh, it's still good, still decent, but the first one is just, I just really like the first one. And, uh, We did not watch the whole thing though. Yeah. <laughs> she got peanut butter everywhere. What do you think about the lemonade? I forgot what you said. Good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Do it. It's not. It's not bad. It's definitely not the best lemonade I've had, but uh, it's not bad. Well, you have to go to South Dakota. Man. Well, I hope you have a safe trip. All right, so as usual, I will try to get you guys the money shot here. Oh gosh, this is gonna be rough. So we're gonna do it like this, hopefully. Hopefully. I go do that, that, that. You would be in trouble. Gosh, I'm trying not to get it all over the blanket or. Towel, so there you go, nice beef chunks. Make sure I don't leave any beef in there. Oh, there is one, you little booger. Can I see? He tried to get away. Not today, I say. Take a bite of him. And he tried to get away there with a little potato. Take a Attached to him. Wait, he thought he was. He thought he was slick. What's a potato? A potato. You don't know what a potato? Like a French fry, potato chip. It's the same thing. Potatoes. We live in Idaho. It's all potatoes. Where do you know what? Well, we don't really eat potatoes that much, so. Uh, but you eat French fries a lot, so. No, I don't. That's a potato. I eat hamburgers a lot. Uh, it's just cut up. Into small pieces of potatoes. No. They so we got it right shit. here. I dropped that stupid towel, but that's all right. We got it all here. Wait, Dad, can we show them uh, like stuff though? We'll show them after we eat. How about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get this thing popping because usually in about ten minutes it starts messing up. Uh, here's a nice chunk of. Couple chunks of beef here. Check that out. Oh yeah, that's a spoonful of beef. I tell you what. Hey Smitty, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope the weather is nice there in Canada. And the potatoes here. And there's got some green beans. Looks like, or no, it's carrots. Maybe yeah, carrots. Well, you're gonna have to eat some of this with me. So those the taters. All right, let's uh, go ahead and take a bite without any added ingredients. Get a little bit of mixture of everything here. There we go. Potatoes. Maybe a little carrot and some beef. Yep, nine years, and it tastes just like it was uh, produced a few days ago. So uh, that's that's cool, very cool. Can you just put that box there? Yeah, that's fine. Just leave it there. That's fine. Let's like Kate, Casey. You want to try it? Yes. Let me get my silver spoon. Oh, you can share with me. Unless you want your own, that's fine. This is this is one of those menus where you 
you literally don't have to add anything to it. I might, I'm probably going to just save that Tabasco. Just because Kaysen then won't be able to eat it. Uh, and I'll just save it for later. Beautiful sunny day at the range. All right, sweet. Popping off some shots. Awesome. Uh, no, use your spoon part. Yeah. What kind of piece? Kason's got our uh, titanium four M R E spork. That's an awesome little utensil there. <coughs> How did I get this? Yeah. We got that about a year ago, actually. When I ordered my first, uh, my first MRE was a Russian MRE, and uh, I, or I ordered that as well. Cool. What do you think of the beef stew? You haven't even dipped in. Yeah. Get you some of that beef. <clears throat> this this uh, meal here is older than you. Actually, yeah. Well, it's it only six. Well, it's nine. Nine years old. And you're six years old. I can eat it. Yeah, you know, of course Dad's eating it. It tastes fine. It tastes perfect. Wait, how old are you? Um, how old am I? Yeah. Dad's 35. You can eat it. This kid, you can. I probably won't eat no food 35 years old, that's for sure. Um, 45 minutes to Walmart. Yeah, see, we're pretty similar to that, Aliza. We have a 45 minute drive to uh, our closest town. Well, I mean, we are in a small town. Here, let me help you there. We're in a small town that has two grocery stores, but they're very high expensive and you come out of there spending 40 50 bucks and you have a basket full so uh we go to a place called winco and it's much uh much cheaper we need to get a costco membership though um, yes we do You know what I might do, actually? What? I'm sure uh, we could imagine it's not going to upset you guys too much. I'm going to save this for dessert tonight. Uh, the apple turnover, you guys have seen it many times. It's not something new. Uh, and I'd rather not open it and then be able to not finish it all. We actually had a pretty good breakfast mo this morning, so... I'm gonna save that and definitely eat it tonight and enjoy that because that's a that's a good one. Hope you guys don't get upset about that, but uh, we're we're hot holding that for tonight. That'll be a nice dessert. So what do you think? Kaysen has a nice cube there of meat. The lemonade could definitely need some work on it. Either that or it's just, I don't know, uh, not the proper amount of water. We're paying $4.99 a pound for 80 20 hamburger. Um, I think it was, uh, it's probably pretty close to that. At our local now, it's total varies. It varies from you know the grocery store and soda to the one at uh, Winco. I couldn't say off the top of my head because we haven't bought beef in about five months or so. About four or five months, her mom and stepdad had bought like you know half a beef or a whole beef, you know, whatever that is, a cow. There you go, I, $2 a pound for a quarter, 
quarter of a cow. So it's real similar to what Marilyn's talking about. We spent like 200 bucks or, uh, you know, 100, or she gave her mom $100 and we got, we got quite a bit and there's quite a bit in that freezer. We've already had quite a bit. Some steaks and hamburger meat, stew meat, fajita meat. Um, so we haven't had to buy beef in a while, so I don't remember the prices. All we really buy is for meat is chicken. <clears throat> I'm getting to the point of I don't want to really buy frozen chicken anymore, but we still do. I'd rather get the more fresh chicken, but I'm pretty sure that that I read even the chicken that you buy that's there is still chicken with rib meat, but I'm, I'm not too sure on that. The ones that are refrigerated. Yeah, deer. Yeah, my. That's like. Uh, in the winter time, obviously. Um, is there. Like, I know. Well, is are there seasons for deer or like moose and elk in Canada? I know that you. There's not a limit to the how many moose you can shoot in in Canada. Is that correct? There's not a limit, and because uh, here you can only get one in your lifetime in Idaho. Uh, one one moose. But I believe you can get. I I'll have to get back on you guys with that. But I'm pretty sure it's one moose. Well, depending on where you go, yeah, it's there are limits. Lottery draws. <clears throat> but the seasons are short. Yeah, I know they could literally make the seasons a little longer on you know certain states, for sure. Especially if you have the big, you know, I don't know, migration or something, and you start having a lot of accidents. I don't know. Or have to start building fence, really high fences. Thousands of moose. Wow, that's crazy. And we've only seen one. We've only seen one moose, and it was a, it was a female. I believe you call them calves, right? For the female ones. Uh. So we only, and she had a. Well. She had a baby. I don't know what you call it, a cow. Okay, so then a what do you call the baby, baby moose? Because um, she had one of those with her, and it looked about the time because we kind of thought it was like her coat was mangy or something. A calf. Okay, so she did. Yeah, a cow and a calf is what we seen, and uh, they were going right across a potato field, and they were headed towards a. Uh, small mountain range but they were out in the open man wide out in the open they cross oh gosh I mean 15 miles of open land to get to to where they were going it was just like crazy like I was almost like is she sick because you wouldn't really think she'd be in the out open range where there's a highway the highway was 60 feet or 60 yards I'd say from her maybe maybe a hundred yards I don't know too maybe maybe she just needed to cross uh, but yeah it was it was cool to see I'd really like to see a full rack up you know not too close but you want to get this last piece of stew stewed meat there beef stew Try to get some of that potato too though. If you don't want that big piece, I'll take it. Get some of the potatoes in there with it, please. And Thank you. They really are, they Marilyn. I it's a, they're amazing huge animals. It's 
I myself wouldn't really go for one uh, for a moose, but um, you know, to each to each his own. You know, you want a, a trophy, and uh, you do everything the legal way, then uh, you know that's fine. I I am all about you know deer ha harvesting up deer for sure. I, I enjoy deer. There's many deer. Uh, you know, obviously you don't want to have a bad, sick one, but... Mm. Well, that was great. Besides that lemonade, that lemonade is just, it's a little stout and uh, and it's just got an off, off taste to it there. I'm going to set this off to the side real quick. <coughs> Alright, you can bring yours up. Case I want to show you guys his uh, so the modifications or accessories that we added here. We got a uh, shovel and pickaxe. A shovel and a yeah, a shovel and an axe. And bar barely see it maybe. Uh, hello, Leah. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, what are you doing that for? You're blocking it. You're blocking it. So he's got the shovel and axe. I painted white. They were silver. Um, yeah, you could probably pick it up. And then on this side, I have the little little hoe-like scraper. Yeah, and then we painted the wheels. Um, I'm starting to get that weird notification on my camera here so if I get cut off I apologize guys oh and we also have gas tank. his cool little gas tank right here attached to it so it's been cool modifying it and whatnot we do have a uh, slight issue with his though we have to figure out he, uh, show so you might problem. be able to, you want to show him? This one right here will go. Yeah, so you see how that one spins? It shouldn't be spinning like that. Uh, it's, these, these other ones are stiff and you can't do that. So we must have broken at some point along the way. It should be four wheel drive and now it's only three wheel drive. So, it was four-wheel drive, it was four-wheel drive. Yeah, it was four-wheel drive, now it's three. But, what's really surprising is that even though it's down to three wheels, it's still performing well, and it's still doing, Good. going through all the trails that my truck has gone through. Uh, which is really surprising. So it, that's, and it can go through this. I can imagine it's going to bust real soon if we continue to push it. That's why I've been ch trying to have Casey not push it too hard. Hey, Aletha, I appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, it very well yeah. could be Smitty. I, I don't really know. I've looked online um, because this part, you know, as you can see that these two wheels they all spin when I do that so but this one is busted I don't know if it's an axle or some type of what else is in there what you would call it uh, I don't know I might just have to replace Get yours, uh, replace the whole axle just because I'm not and I'm not technically I'm not technically inclined to uh, to work on them, 
So and then I did some modifications to this one as well. We uh, I put on a gas tank right there. We did the uh, I got the red steps step plates and got a red front fender. I put a little yellow skid plate right there. I got some stickers on the way that have yellow in them as well as red. So I have a little red. It's like a, like a little area you could store stuff, you know, whatever. And then I have an ax and a shovel right there. And left me. And then on this side I just have a uh, scale scale size suicide jack right there but yeah it's uh it's been cool checking these things out it's been really fun um, you know upgrading them at, or adding, not really upgrading them because we haven't really upgraded anything and but just adding the uh, yeah the old jerry can is uh, is awesome I really thought it was cool um, just adding these accessories really is all we've done so far. Soon we're going to add... Something. Okay. So, Dad always crashes to me all the time. I know, yeah. Dad sometimes... Um, let's move this out the way. Dad sometimes gets distracted and he he's not paying attention and he keeps driving, so... Yeah, that's that's Dad's fault. You can leave yours up here so we can people can see it. <laughs> but um, so we want to get some new axles for his. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm probably gonna upgrade the steering servo right here to get uh, this is plastic, and I'll upgrade it to an aluminum piece. So obviously it's better steering, stronger steering. Um, and then right down here, we have two drive shafts that I will replace to a more beefier one. Um, if not a bigger plastic, then most likely a metal. And then after that, we have the shocks here. Which these aren't bad, but uh, you know we're just gonna. It's just something we're gonna do after you know over time, uh, just to mess around with it and upgrade certain things, and then uh, probably gonna buy some more too eventually. I have my eyes on another rock crawler and me too. Uh, and another. Oh, there's a. Yeah, we were looking for one for mom, for Kaylin. Uh, are they differentials? Now, Fred, I don't know really. You'd have to explain what differentials is to me because I know, you know, like four wheel drive and uh, you know, what a transmission is and uh, the motor. You know, here's the motor part. It's sitting right here where my finger is. There's the old motor, but. Uh, I don't really know anything. Uh, Zeno, hey, welcome. And six, I apologize, guys. I've been blabbering here. Um, but, like, mine has the, uh... Take the body off. It's got a trans, you know, the front axles. It's kind of hard to see it. Oh, there we go, a little better. I don't know. But these are the drive straps right there that I'm gonna make beefier on mine too. Uh, all kinds of parts, a lot of plastic really. But the gears, there's a uh, transmission in here. This metal transmission, or yeah, it's kind of like a metal. I think it's a metal case. No, it might not. No, that's like a plastic. But the internal has the internal gears are all metal. So that's that's nice, I guess. I, I don't not too familiar with these, but 
uh, as opposed to what they were before they were plastic. So that was one of the reasons why I spent the extra money and got this version. I literally spent my whole check uh, getting it. Kaylin wasn't too happy about that, but she was. She uh, got over it in about ten minutes. So, yeah, it's been cool checking them out. Um, yeah, Tremors, when they use the RC trucks to carry TNT, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We were watching Tremors not too long ago. That's funny. I'll have to go back over that. I'm pretty sure Netflix has that. Um, I'll have to find that part just for the hell of it. Uh, will the drive shaft meet the axle? Let me see, bud. Okay, so the drive shaft Look, meets the axle. Alright, so, like, that, like, so here's a drive shaft. I apologize, guys, if I lose you. Um, my camera here, phone keeps on popping up a bunch of stuff, so if it's distorted, if I'm glitching, whatever, I'm sorry. I appreciate everyone's support. Um, so I don't know if you're talking about right here or but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look up. I I actually have my paper here. Or my little manual. Hey, Leah, did, uh, did Tracy ever pull the trigger on one? Was he able to find one? If you're still in here. Hey, JW, how's it going, bro? Hey, uh, JW said hi. Hi. You're going to show them our batteries? Yeah, after okay. this. After this. Oh, okay. Um, so, let's see. What we got? What we got? Steering rack, steering servo, steering knuckle, receiver box. What's a steering box. knuckle? Oh, okay. So, yeah. As you can see here, Fred, Right, let me find it again, yeah. Right here where my finger is. Dif differential. Inside axle housing. So that's on the back part. So I guess it's, I, I don't know, where that red piece is? I, I don't know. This is differential inside axle housing. I'm not sure. But it's... Well, I'll be a buttered biscuit. Stop! <laughs> you will. It's, dude, it's a pretty, okay. pretty cool... there's a secret about this. ...piece of a uh, little... There's a secret about this. Yeah, and, you know... Uh, it's got the uh, pinion, what did it say? Spur, pinion, slipper, transmission, lower four link bar, shock absorbers. Uh, it's cool. And this is the secret about the, the truck to spread in all time. Yeah. So, Kason has in his hand there. If you can show him a little closer, can you show him a little, a little closer? Oh, here, let me help you. This is the one that goes in mine. It's a uh, 33... And this is the one that here goes in mine. 100... Ma? M-A-H... Uh, 3S. Ooh, better be careful. We don't want that thing to get wet. Uh, like I said, this is the first time I've used these, so... I'm not too familiar with all this stuff, but... And this one's mine, Yeah, and then this, this, uh, little guy here is Kaysen's. Fits right here in the front where the engine would go. Where's that go? Yeah, it goes like that way, under this little hood, hood cover. It's supposed to go out because it's... <clears throat> the charger I bought will charge both <laughs> this battery and then and then this battery here um, and it charges it in about 
minutes. Half an yeah. hour. Yeah, 30 to 45 minutes. And that this big one has the biggest cord ever. <laughs> we need to trim this cord down because it is a little long trying to fit it in his But little... we can't. Yeah, well, we got to get a new piece to do that. So, um, There's no string. But, yeah, I bought him two batteries because his battery obviously will... And that's what it says the other way. Because his body will go out quicker. Or his battery, sorry. Not body. Uh, that's some technology. It is very, I know, I didn't realize, man. And then, Fred, you haven't seen nothing, brother. They have these $5,000 uh, machines, like excavators, uh, dump trucks, bulldozers. They have semis. They have cranes. I mean, anything, literally, forklifts, little pallet-sized forklifts. And it's all legit scale. I mean, it's perfect. I the need to. The excavators all use hydraulic hoses, use hydraulic lines. Um, they even, you know, use, you know, fluid to push them. It's, it's freaking amazing. And they have a problem with stuff. You need gnomes to work on them. <laughs> gnomes? I'm doing okay, I got a haircut while the live stream was going on. Hey, awesome, Zeno, cool. Zeno? Heck yeah. Uh, Again. Let's see. Again. Yeah. yeah, I'm having to look down here because my chat up there is just all froze. It's not showing anything. I mean, I can see me. It's still fine, but uh, I have to read the chat down here, so I apologize. The those RC jets are awesome. Oh gosh, and there yeah, there are some huge. They make some huge RC planes. It, it is crazy how they do that. Helicopters. And Man, it's amazing. If I if I had some really good money, that would be cool to get some, you know, like an excavator. Because that's actually what I was going to do for Kason's birthday. Instead of this rock crawler, I was just going to get him a excavator and a dump truck. Yeah, rich man's hobby. But see, that's the thing. The hobby guy there... Excuse me. And the hobby guy there told me that if you're going to get into the construction like RCs, you're going to want to spend some money. You're not going to want to buy the the $100 to $200 ones. Uh, you're going to want to spend upwards of $700 to, you know, or sorry, $500 to, you know, eight, you know, around there. It's going to be 500 bucks or something, even more. To get something worth quality that when you that'll actually dig in the ground and you're not gonna break parts and stuff. Uh, been been there, yeah, JW and I honestly haven't really gotten into an RC hobby uh, even growing up. You know, having our Walmart RCs, of course, but beyond that, uh, I've never gotten into it. But now that Kason's old enough to understand. Oh, your flag on there? Yeah, we've been Hmm. But now that Kaysen is into... He's able to control these a lot better now. And, uh, so yeah, we... I figure it's a perfect hobby to get into. And I enjoy them as well. I think it's cool watching them go over the, the obstacles. Like, rock obstacles and stuff. It's pretty amazing what they can go crawl over. It's crazy. <laughs> but other than that, guys, uh, we're going to wrap her up here. Um, as for the 2011 Menu 9 Beef Stew, it was excellent. I don't have any complaints on it. And I can imagine the, uh, 
the Apple turnover is going to be just as fine and uh, won't have any issues there either. Like I said, I just would rather have it for dessert tonight. So, um, Kason, do you want to say anything before we log off here? No. No? You don't want to say bye or nothing like that? No. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I uh, appreciate everyone stopping in. Uh, Marilyn, JW, Zeno, Fred, uh, Leah, Barreto, Aletha, Aletha popped in too there, and uh, make sure I don't miss anyone, I think, I think we about got her, I'm trying to, it's not going up, but I appreciate everyone's support, I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will talk real soon. I imagine I'll be uploading a video here soon. I found some cool trails I want to get through and check check out before I uh, before the winter comes. So anyhow, guys, yeah, I'm gonna you're gonna try to make it to the museum. Hey, cool, man. I hope you have a good time, Fred. Uh, we're just gonna hang out, relax for a little bit. And probably. Are you do that since here? Oh no, later we will. Oh. When it cools off. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, stay safe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.